I just solved the first Gurkhan cryptography puzzle, winning a free ticket to Gurkhan. Now, I already have a black badge, so I'm going to pin a comment down below and go ahead and respond, and I'm going to just pick out someone randomly who will win it. Now, the reason why I want to go break down exactly what I did for this, because when I first started doing these puzzles, I never thought I was either smart enough or didn't know what to do. So I want to show you exactly how you can follow in my footsteps and solve this and realize it's not that hard just to jump in and start learning because these challenges, in my opinion, are one of the best ways to strengthen that hacker mindset to help you start thinking outside the box. So let's jump right into it. So right away, what I noticed about this string is it's all ones and zeros, which means it's binary. Now, one of my favorite tools that I found for these type of challenges is called CyberChef. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that right now. If you don't know how to get to it, go on Google, look at CyberChef. And I have to first prove to Google that I am not a robot. So after I do that, it is a self-hosted project where you can even run it out of your own house or they have a hosted one. So I'm gonna open up the hosted one. Now, since this is binary, I can just highlight the whole thing, copy and paste it right at the top. The way CyberChef works is you have an input up at the top, you have an output on the bottom, and then you can add to your recipe, which is how it determines how to move from input to output. In this case, we wanna do from binary and drag it on over. And what we see right here is that the binary decoded into a readable format. And there's a few things to point out. First, the word sesame. Now, oftentimes within these puzzles, and this is just something you learn after doing a lot of them, is the fact that usually puzzle creators were put some semblance of a solution at the front of the puzzle. And the reason they do that is so you know you're on the right track. Oftentimes, either that comes back later as a hint, but in this case, it wasn't really used for anything, but I knew I was on the right track. So I grabbed the rest of the puzzle and I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna throw it back into the input. So at this point, I know it's not binary because it has numbers outside of ones and zeros. There's a couple other things I can guess about it. The first being is it's not base 64 because it doesn't have letters. It's not hexadecimal because it doesn't have letters. It has numbers above eight, so I know it's not octal. So I assume it's some sort of cipher. And there's a lot of different ciphers that exist. In this case, since it's only numbers, I can assume it's something probably pretty simple. Maybe something where it just has the number 1A and 2B and 3C, sort of like those old secret decoder rings. Now, oftentimes I find that within CyberChef, it's not necessarily the most robust tool for ciphers. So I'm gonna go ahead and open decode. It's decode.fr. And I'm gonna look for one of these ciphers where this is a rather known cipher Z26. It's right here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that in and try the automatic decipher. And it actually found something kind of interesting. After I tried to decode this, I did an automatic brute force of it. And I found something interesting. And looking through this, you notice this is gibberish, this is gibberish. But just like before, we get a hint with the word pizza pizza. So we again know we're on the right track. So I'm gonna copy out the next part of this and come back to CyberChef and put that up at the top. So we look at this again and now there's no numbers. And that's another hint because if there was numbers immediately, we might be thinking base 64 or hex or anything which could have numbers, but this is just letters. And the other hint here is there's no lowercase. It's all uppercase, which often means it's not an encoding and it's another cipher. In this case, I had a sneaking suspicion it was a Caesar cipher. And a Caesar cipher is known as a, or ROT13, is a shift in the alphabet. Using CyberChef, we can pull this off 
they call it ROT13 on here. And in this case, before I show it, which already it's solved, but the letter A would turn into the letter N. So that's what a ROT13 is. It shifts the characters 13. But pasting that back in, what we notice is we then get the next part. Blaze loves hacker cons. Again, we know we're on the right track. So let's grab the last piece and give a guess of what it is. Now with this one, it's another cipher. We know there's no numbers in it. And we can probably guess it's not Caesar, a Caesar cipher again. Now there's another incredibly common one called a veneer cipher. Now, CyberChef does allow this type of cipher, but here's the problem. You need a key to decode it, and I don't know what it is. So we could guess at it or brute force it, or maybe even just guess it. Since the conference is Gurkhan, we could guess it is Gurkhan, which it is. But let's say we didn't know what the key was. In that case, we would have to brute force it. And Decode, yet again, has a way for us to do this. So if we jump back to Decode and type in veneer, we can dump that text in and do automatic decryption. In this case, it's gonna go through the entire word list it has and then start brute forcing it using for English words or things that look like English words. In this case, it found it right here. Let's copy this out over to CyberChef just to be able to quickly manipulate it. And in this case, it's everything we need to claim the discount. <laughs> they misspelled discount. The code to claim your ticket is your mom goes to college. And just like that, we were able to just determine what the code was to get our free ticket. And after watching this, I hope you realize that these things are not crazy complicated. They don't require you to have special hacker tools or anything like that. You can jump in and start playing around with these things right away. I hope you learned something. And if you want to win this, please go ahead and respond to my pinned comment down below. Thank you for watching and hack on.